Hi everyone, Ainsley here from Small Fry Creations. Today I'm going to show you how you make a flower pot stand. Let's do it. This project was created from one project board which was 1200mm by 600mm plywood that was 18mm thick. I started by cutting the plywood into three equal strips of 200mm wide. I must say this project decides to fit my pots that I purchased so if you would like to make this project I would suggest buying your pots first and then sizing from there. With my strips cut I could cross cut them on the miter saw. I used two of the strips to cut the sides at 700mm high. I could then cut the tops and the bottoms which are 200mm square. I cut 4 for the bottom and 2 for the top. It was then time to glue the pieces together. I used a nailer to hold everything in place while the glue dried and to speed the process up. To help with the gluing you can sprinkle some salt on the glue. This will help the pieces not move as much when you're gluing them up. I also used clamps to hold everything in place while I nailed it together. I used four pieces on the bottom and two on the top to help with the weight and to stop the stand from tipping over easily. Once everything was glued and nailed, I could fill the holes with wood putty. I could then move on to the sides. I marked 50mm in from each side and 140mm from the top and the bottom and joined the marks all together to make a rectangle. I drilled holes in the corner of the rectangle and used a jigsaw to cut it out. I made sure to cut on the inside of the line and then sand it to the line to get everything smooth. You want to take your time on this step because that will make the next step a breeze. I made the same marks on the other side piece and cut away most of the rectangle with the jigsaw, again making sure to stay inside the line. Then with a flush trim bit in my router, I stacked the two pieces on top of each other with the good side on the bottom. I could then set the depth on my router so the bearing is running along the good piece and it will flush up the top piece to match the bottom. This is a great way to ensure both of your sides are perfectly the same. I sanded all the pieces and then glued everything up. This was pretty straightforward and I just made sure I cleaned up any glue squeeze out along the way to help save time later. I took the stand out of clamps and did a small round over on all the edges. I could then tape off the edges and paint the outside a low sheen white. With the white paint dried I applied a couple of clear coats to the whole stand and I could call this project done. If you like this video, make sure you hit those subscribe and like buttons so you can help me out and I'll see you on the next one.